nothing like getting hydrated. What's up guys, Chandler here with Rise, and today I got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna teach you five tricks you can do with any plastic water bottle, whether it's empty or full. So yeah, not all of these are like magic tricks, so to speak, but they're just little fun tricks you can do with the object of a water bottle, which are fun to learn because these things are everywhere. And since they're already polluting and destroying the earth, you may as well get as much entertainment value as possible from them. I mean, me and my friends in elementary school did this stuff all the time, especially some of the ones in here. Just little ways to harass your friends and be just a little annoying kid. I don't know why I'm teaching these. First, but in no particular order, we have the rocket bottle. What you need is an empty water bottle, but with just a little bit of water left in it. Now this is important for later. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it on the bottom, grab it on the top and twist. So that in the middle, you're gonna want the water bottle to be cut in half, kind of just like that. From here, you're gonna twist, twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, twist, and twist. Then what you have here with all that pressure being built is a mechanism that will shoot this cap hard and far. So you're gonna wanna lightly loosen the cap. And once it gets loose enough, you're gonna put your thumb on the cap and twist off to the right in one motion and it should. And then you'll get some uh, beautiful, beautiful vapor coming out of the bottle just like that. Now, if you want more vapor, just leave a little bit more water in there, but that's basically it. But very serious warning, these things are dangerous. Do not shoot them at anyone. Maybe pop up some card boxes and shoot those down with target practice, but do not shoot these at people. I, true story, have been on the wrong end of one of these and my eye was actually bleeding. My eye socket was gushing blood. This was back in high school, my friend Mike Kramer, shout out Mike, shot me in the face with one of those caps and it nearly made me blind in one eye. So do not do that to anyone and I do not endorse it. So number two, once that cap got shot off like a cannon, what are you gonna do with it? Can you still have fun with it? Yes, of course. What you're gonna do with this cap is you can throw it almost like a Frisbee with its disc-like shape and the way you're gonna throw it is with your middle finger and thumb. The cap goes right in this little crevice like that. So that is the grip you're holding the cap in. And what's gonna happen is your middle finger is gonna shoot in towards your thumb like that and kind of flick out. And what's gonna happen is the cap is gonna rotate forwards like that off of your middle finger and it's really just gonna shoot and rotate through the air really fast. If you get your arm involved into it, you can fling these things hundreds of yards. It's really fun. I would highly recommend you try it. Super easy. And by the way, if you have a Gatorade cap, like those big fat Gatorade caps, you can zing those like hundreds of yards with just a little bit of practice. Something I used to do with my friends back in middle school is we'd play like laser tag, but with the caps. So you just boom, boom, shoot each other with them. A little less dangerous than, you know, the rocket on the first one. Not as fast, but just as fun. So number three, your magic trick. All you need is a semi-full bottle of water. So maybe take a swig so people know it's real. Ah. Now after that, you don't need the cap because this is all about water pressure, right? The suction you can get with your hand. So all you need to do, right, is you can seal the vacuum pressure inside the water and make the water no longer be affected by gravity. Here we go. Let's go get messy. I right, spilled a little bit, but now my hand has it sealed. And just like that, the water is no longer affected by gravity until, guess what? I snap my fingers. And it pours out all over my bedroom floor. Nice. The best part about this trick for me is having other people try it because there is obviously a magical secret behind it. You're gonna wanna take some clear plastic like the stuff that comes in any, you know, that really annoying stuff that comes in all your packages, that hard plastic. And you're gonna wanna cut a circle the shape of the cap. This is what mine looks like right here. Now you could put these in your wallet or something like that, have five of them on you at all times. I'll show you guys the exposed view right here. You have your little plastic piece. Basically you want to place it on top of the water bottle, just like that. 
So you can kind of see it right there. Mine's a little bit bigger than it should be, but that's fine, no one will notice, right? So you put it on top and then flip over. And then once you, you sh this is something you have to practice over the sink, I promise. Practice over the sink, because once you, you can't line it up like how I am right now, because that's too obvious. But once you have it lined up, you're gonna see, I'll try and tilt it up, but it might break it. You'll see the little piece of plastic on there. Then to let it go, you can shake it or give a little bit of a squeeze while you're shaking it. And it'll go out just like that. <laughs> Number four, I don't know if everyone already knows this, but if you don't know it already, this can really annoy people, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Basically, you can make very loud noise with water bottles. All it takes is a little hit, and it almost sounds like a gunshot, like it's so loud. This is the simplest one in all of this, right? Hold it up top like that grip right there. You're gonna take this part of your hand, kind of like the right palm area, this little pad right here, and you hit the side of this. When you hit the side, what happens is it goes up, and then when it pops back, that's that noise you're hearing, and it is loud. You can scare the crap out of people with this. You could use it at sporting events to distract someone where they're taking their free throws. Like see Shaq over there. And he missed, it's that easy. Probably just broke my microphone too. You could also use it to scare people. I mean, get creative, but that's kind of a stupid one. But man. Take a water bottle and try it yourself because I guarantee you the microphone is not picking up just how loud it is. Lastly, this is my absolute favorite from elementary school. You have your water bottle, take a thumbtack like that, go into the cap and poke a hole right in the center, just like that. Now, once you have that hole, what happens is you have that tiny hole in the thing and you have your own mini water gun. Now you could use it for beneficial things like hydrating, Get that little dose of water without, you know, overdoing yourself outside, going for a run. That little stream of water, you can modify any water bottle into this. You could take the tack, make the hole bigger so there's more of a stream. Boy, if you don't or you could use it as like a concealed water gun. In fact, I wouldn't recommend this, but I remember in elementary school doing this to my teacher because I was a juvenile delinquent and I would... But I'd go to my teacher and... It'll take them a second to realize what's going on. All right, well, that's how I'm gonna end it, guys. That's just a beneficial one you could use in your everyday life to stay hydrated. Very important to stay hydrated. Make sure your urine is crystal clear. Very important. Now, if you're your- Alexa, turn the bedroom lights to red. Okay. <laughs> 15 bucks. Little things, little things. That was only 15. Anyway, if you like this type of content, be sure to like, if you like the video, which let's be honest, you probably did. If not, you know, you could still like it and just be encouraging. Yeah, so those are my five little tricks. Put them to good use. Don't get in trouble in school. If you do, be sure to tell your teacher to like, comment, and subscribe to Rise Magic for more content that uh, poisons the youth. <laughs> that probably shouldn't be our slogan. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. Give me some ideas for new videos, things of that nature. And uh, thanks for watching. It really makes my day that you guys care about what I create. I'll see you next week.